Hello, welcome to Making Sense of It All. The idea of these videos has always been to help use our faith to make sense of our world. And of course, in the last couple of months, we've looked at the coronavirus pandemic and how that's literally changed the world and how we live our lives and what we think about the way in which we do things. But in the last couple of weeks, another issue has come to the surface, an issue which is not new, which has been here for decades, but is more important than ever. And actually, the virus itself has really given us an opportunity to reflect on the realities for those people in our communities who are black, Asian, minority, ethnic, those people who aren't treated equally, those people who are affected by racism. The killing of George Floyd in the United States, not the first person to die unfairly or unjustly, has caused, quite rightly, outrage across the world. Pope Francis spoke about the tragic death and how he was with compassion and empathy for those people who suffered the sin of racism. Because he is aware, as we are aware as a church, that it still happens today. In America, in this country, all across the world, people are treated differently because of the colour of their skin. And it just can't happen. As a church, we celebrate the dignity of every single human life. And if we don't speak about this, if we don't say things about this, if we don't learn about this, then how can we hold that true? How can we be doing what we're called to do as a church, called to do by Christ, if we're not looking out for every single one of our brothers and sisters? Over this last weekend, thousands have joined marches across the world, helping to highlight the injustices and the inequalities that are faced by people even today. This is not a new issue but it's still happening. People are still finding this a reality in their lives, so what do we do about it? How can we do something about it? Because as our Pope says, and as our bishops have said, we cannot and should not stay silent about it. What we do, I think, is two things, and those two things we are inspired to do by our faith. In St Paul's letter to the Corinthians, he talks about the fact that as a community, as a world, we are one body with many parts. And then actually that body has been put together on purpose, deliberately, so that all the bits fit together and work together. We are meant to be different, we're meant to be diverse. And any time we squash that or, or kind of don't accept the fact that we are different and that we need difference in our lives, well then the body can't function, the body can't work the way God intended it to do. In that piece of scripture it says one line in particular which I think is so pertinent at the moment. It says this, when one part of the body suffers, well the whole body suffers. But when one part of the body is honoured, the whole body can rejoice. Think about that for a minute. If one part of our body, one part of our world, one part of our humanity is suffering, then the whole body is suffering and that's what's happening right now. People across the world are suffering because of racism and we need to do something about that because the whole body is suffering as a result and the whole body is affected. We are all responsible. But of course that second part I think is just as important. When one part of the body is honoured, then the whole body can rejoice, can celebrate. We need to be celebrating diversity, recognising the incredible contribution of those people who make our society what it is. The slogan Black Lives Matter is powerful and important, but black lives are more than, they more than just matter, they are vital. In the same way that black, Asian, minority, ethnic and all those people in our world that contribute to the incredible richness and diversity that express what God's creation is all about and its true beauty, if we don't celebrate and love all of that, well then we can't rejoice, we can't find joy, we can't bring happiness and that's what we need to be trying to do at this time of suffering across the world. The Bishop's Conference Statement, and you can read the, about that in the link to this video, talks about the fact that in this country we've shown that those people who are black, Asian and minority ethnic have been disproportionately affected by coronavirus because they're also affected by issues like poverty and lack of kind of social interaction and those kind of things aren't fair and aren't right and we can do something about it if we learn and we love. By learning about this issue, and that's what I encourage you to do right now, find out about it, read about it, read the Bishop's Conference Statement, read what Pope Francis has said and then we love those around us equally and without prejudice and without colour, then actually we can do something about this. We can make sense of it all and we can realise what it is we are called to do right now. Because if one part of our body is suffering, we're all suffering. But if one part of our body can be honoured and respected, then the whole body can rejoice. We are all part of the body of Christ. We're all called to love one another. So this week, Learn about what's going on and love those around you and we can start to make a change. We'll see you soon.